having that moment of surprise, that element of surprise can be kind of jarring for a minute and put you into a, a fight or flight kind of situation. But taking some distance, taking a deep breath, or even putting that game aside and coming back to it, if you have that initial moment of panic, can help you realize later that it really wasn't necessarily that bad at all. I think we've all had that experience where after the time setting all together, that becomes pretty obvious. Certainly people who take disclosed versions of the LSAT, they get their release exam back two to three weeks later. They're like, how could I have screwed up that game? It seems so simple in hindsight. And so if you can have a way to generate that experience to yourself during the time setting itself through either taking a deep breath, putting your head down for a minute, doing something else for a moment and coming back, hopefully you can generate a similar situation for yourself, even while still during the actual time setting itself. And of course, yeah, you might lose 30 seconds or a minute to that, but and you definitely don't want to lose that time, believe me, every second counts. But if you can re recuperate or regain your composure during that time setting and still knock it out, all the better. I know it can sound crazy, but it is possible to do any LSAT section and to have a couple minutes remaining. It's a place that can take a long time to get to, but you can get there in the end by taking a take no prisoners approach and not spending a second longer than you need to on the easiest questions that really don't need the double checking your confirmation. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.